Dr. Donnie here with our lovely Noel. Hello. And I'm not even sure if the camera goes low enough to see Levi, but let's show you. Let's show you. Say hi. Can you say hi? Levi, how old are you? How old are you? How old? How old? Two! <laughs> the reason I ask is because, as you can see, Miss Noel's having another little. Um, so I wanted her to tell us a little bit about this pregnancy and more specifically running around after a toddler and what that does to a body while also mm -hmm. being pregnant. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Uh, well, my pregnancies aren't super easy. Okay. So especially in the beginning, um, I was really <coughs> nauseous and tired and that made it pretty hard to chase okay. after him. Um, and in the beginning, I didn't even think about kind of the physical big physical changes that were coming. Sure. Um, but I would say, I think I started maybe around 20 weeks. Or yeah, like 18, maybe, 18, maybe like something in that 16 realm. 16 yeah. to, to 18, 20 weeks. Um, I started to just come, come remember on, I had a lot of come on, come on, the come first on. time. Um, come and remembering on, how on. limiting that was. Sure. On, and feeling on, like I needed to get on top of it because... I already felt on, so limited. Oh yeah. With the you know, with a toddler, and I wanted to be Come as on. active as I could Come be. On. Sure. Um, Come on, mommy. And I'm sure some of you Come who have on. been pregnant may have experienced Come that pubic symphysis pain, and it's like a that foot's going down, and that pain's shooting up. Yeah. So if we've got thirty weeks or you know twenty yeah. weeks to go, and we're already experiencing Come that. On. That doesn't set you up for. A good delivery either because right. it's just you become oh, yeah. more sedentary throughout yeah. that time too. Yeah, I mean, and, and I think with the first time, do you want me to hold you? Yeah. The first time, um, because I didn't have someone else to take care of, I was able to really push myself to. I went to like prenatal yoga every day still. Sure. And I walked every day still, and so it was kind of like I was I pushed. I was in pain a lot, right. but I just pushed through it because. I could, right? Um, but this time around, I mean, I've tried to stay pretty active, but it's I can't be as nearly as active as sure. I was, or intentionally active. Right. I will say right. I'm probably more active in other ways, um, and so I really felt like I needed to do because I was lucky that I had a pretty good delivery with him, right? Um, but I felt like I need to balance this out and do something for my body. That you know, I, I can make time to come here twice a week because it's so family friendly too. I can bring them with me. Of course. Um, so that was kind of like the trade off that I felt like I needed to make okay. at this time. Okay. okay. And how's your body felt so far? My body has felt so much different this time. Okay. Um, so I would say that I'm probably more. My body's under more stress. Of course. In certain ways than it was the first time. But I'm so much more mobile and like not in pain. Like I was, awesome. I was telling my husband this the other day, um, well, well before this point, but definitely by this point, I was like going on a walk was so painful. Really? And okay. now we go on walks every morning. It's a win. Yeah. Big win. We even like can we can go on hikes. I can do things without feeling like oh my gosh, I am I actually hurting myself? Sure. By this exercise, you right, know, I right. feel I feel pretty good in my body. That's awesome. And the baby's in a really good position, so I feel like we're ready, we're set up for success. I love it. Always a big yeah. win, and look, she brings up a couple things where sometimes I feel like pregnancy is almost like a, um, I don't want to say like a, a stamp, but it's like, oh, it's because you're pregnant. Yeah. And like you almost feel like it, it, you have to feel like that. Yeah, like, or that there's no way yeah. to combat it. It's like, oh, this is just kind of my sentence. For right, 40 weeks right. Or and that's not true. And look, everybody's body is very different and everybody's going to respond different based on stresses that they have going on yeah. while they're pregnant. But there's so much that you can do just to feel good. Like, let's leave the positioning part out for one second because that's magnificent. But you don't have to be miserable throughout your pregnancy. Yeah. Your body doesn't have to feel bad. Right. It could ache. It's going to be sore. Yes, sleep yeah. might not be optimum at times, but you can have really good, smooth sailing, like good feeling, yeah. you know, body on top of pregnancy. I mean, and it's definitely an additive effect with the chiropractic, but I will say even just, even if it only like for the first hour after, I feel amazing every time sure. I come. So even if I didn't have all the other benefits, at this point in like life, with caring for a right. toddler and being pregnant, I'll take it. Right, you know? right. No, absolutely. I'll take and, it. and she brought up positioning. You know, our one of the things that we do, regardless of if you present with a breech baby or not, is a Webster check, and the Webster check allows us 
to make sure that we have proper alignment, proper positioning in the sacrum and the pelvis, no tension on the round ligaments, which then will always allow for baby to be in proper position and just to have room to move. Because if that's the case, then come delivery, that's where a lot of times people have an issue is because things have just not been in proper position throughout the whole time. Right, and it's it's pretty hard to like, do anything in right. any 11 Oh, hours. yeah, Come once on. you get there, sorry, whatever happens, yeah. happens. But we also tend Come to on. see some of that residually Come postpartum, on. Come and on. just not on mom, but also Come baby. On. But on. baby's stuck in a weird position for weeks and weeks on end. Sometimes we might see something like torticollis, where the musculature yeah. might be really tight. Sometimes there's a latch issue, because again, it goes a lot of up top, like if something's not off. And look, there's a lot of stress on the body yeah. in delivery, regardless then, of how you deliver. And I will say, like I, the first time with him, I had a very speedy delivery and uncomplicated delivery, but I had that pubic pain for, pro- and you know it it faded, but for a full year. Wow. Um, after. After. You know, I, I remember it was he started walking around ten months. And I went to a physical therapist at that point because I thought, well, maybe that's what I need. Sure, sure. Um, and I remember being like, I he's starting to walk, and I need to be able to like run after my son. And I couldn't run. Like I right. physically could not run. Didn't feel like my. It's such a weird. I can't even describe what that feels like. But yeah. it was like my legs were not connected. Right. Right. Um, so I remember it was that far into my postpartum. Oh yeah. At minimum, we tell people that the same exact time that you were pregnant. At minimum, that same exact time after, your body's healing in a whole different yeah. way, and we get to take care of that at the same time to then help these things from, you know, going away much faster yeah. <laughs> and you yeah. being more comfortable yeah. much quicker. That's my hope with chasing two babies. Ooh, so fun. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell any pregnant moms out there? Anybody who's got any questions about chiropractic um, and pregnancy? Well, I will say, so I didn't know much about chiropractic before I was pregnant with him, and my experience with chiropractic was nothing like it has been like as a mate. Um, so <laughs> I think that, you know, there are a lot of service providers but they're not all created equally. Um, and I know that it's a commitment, but sure, sure. you know, this has been one of the best ways we've spent our time and money this pregnancy. Awesome. Um, yeah, and I can't say enough about it. So family friendly. Thank you. Feeling great. <laughs> and I'm excited to. Lovely. Yeah. We'll keep you posted on our delivery. Yeah. Be fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys.